The overload reaction has been neglected since the beginning of the game, but Chevreuse has arrived with the goal of changing that reaction. Chevreuse is a Pyro Polearm user that is focused on being a support for overload teams. It's actually weird saying this after so many time. I never thought a character like that would come to the game. Without any furthers, if you haven't followed me yet, what are you waiting for? Like this video because it really motivates me a lot. Also guys, I've noticed that 99% of the people who are seeing my videos are not subscribed. So please, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free. I'm trying my best to post as regular as possible and your support from that side will help me and motivate me a lot. I recommend you activating the bell for you to be notified when I post videos here. My other links are on the description. So, without any furthers, let's now talk about Chevreux's kit and talents. Have you ever wished to be more comfortable when pulling into your favorite waifus or usbandos? Thanks to Loot Bar, you now have a better way to top up in Genshin Impact or in Honkai Star Rail that is absolutely safe and provides secure transactions with way more comfortable and affording pricing. They have really fast delivery on your orders, only taking some minutes of waiting with a trustworthy service with more than 32,000 orders and with the most reviews being 5 star ratings. What makes this service safe to use is that you only need to provide your server region and your UID so they will never enter your account and the prices are way cheaper here. The highest top up costs around 100 euros in game, but on loot bar, it would cost me around 69 euros, making me save up to around 30 euros. Another great feature that loot bar provides is the option to top up multiple times in a row in just one payment. You can purchase the highest top up four times in just one payment, and you will see that you save nearly $100. Topping up on loot bar is done throughout MiHoYo's official route and to prove you all that it's safe I decided to top up myself using their service. In my case I bought a Welkin. You just need to select your server and you just write your UID down there. After doing all this you just need to type in your card and if you wait some minutes and log into your account there it is. It's actually surprising how fast it is done. If you guys are used to topping up in Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail be sure to check out lootbar.gg because it's a great way to save your money. I will leave the link to lootbar on the description and on the pinned comment for you guys to start saving some money with some discount coupons. Thank you so much Lootbar for sponsoring this video. Chevreuse is a 4 star pyro polearm that is OZ aligned and focused on being a support for your teams. And she's focused on the previous dead reaction, Overload. On her normal attacks, Chevreuse performs up to 4 consecutive spear strikes and on her charge attacks she consumes a certain amount of stamina to lunge forward dealing physical damage to opponents along the way. When you use her skill, Short Range Rapid Interdiction Fire, Chevreuse quickly shoulders her musket and fires at her opponents, dealing AoE pyro damage and periodically summoning a surging blade from the Ozea state. And, for a short duration after Chevreuse fires a shot, she will continuously restore HP to the active character on the field. The amount heal is based on her max HP. This is where her overload mechanics start to play a role. Every time a nearby character in the party triggers an overload reaction, Chevreuse gains one overcharged ball, and she can have up to one overcharged ball at the time. If you hold her skill, you will enter the aiming mode. If Chevreuse has an overcharged ball, then she will fire the overcharged ball instead, dealing greater pyro damage in the large area. This incentivizes the player to use overload reactions, and when she takes the field, she will be able to do a little bit more damage than she would normally do. On her burst, Ring of Bursting Grenades, Chevreuse fires an explosive grenade to opponents with her musket, dealing AoE pyro damage. After the projectile hits, it will split into many secondary explosive shells. The secondary explosive shells will burst after a short interval, dealing pyro damage to nearby opponents. Her burst is very similar to Kirara's burst, and it costs 60 energy with a 15 seconds cooldown. Now let's talk about Chevreuse passives, because this is where things get interesting. Her exploration passive decreases spritting stamina consumption for her own party members by 20%. It's that type of passive that we never refuse, but it's nothing special. With her 4th ascension passive, Vanguard's coordinated tactics, when the elemental type of all party members is pyro or electro, and there is at least one pyro and one electro characters in the party, Chevreuse grants coordinated tactics to party members. And what is coordinated tactics? After the character triggers the overload reaction, the pyro and electro resistance of the opponents affected by this overload reaction will be decreased by 40% for 6 seconds. The coordinated tactics effect will be removed when the elemental types of the characters in the party do not meet the basic requirements for the passive talent. This passive has a pretty similar mechanic to Nilu passive, where if you have only two specific types, it will change your reaction on the game. To summarize, 
If you only have Pyro and Electro characters on the team, every time you do an Overload reaction, you will decrease the Pyro and Electro resistance from the enemies by 40%. And on her second Ascension passive, Vertical Force Coordination, after Chevreuse fires an overcharged ball using her skill, nearby Pyro and Electro characters in the party gain 1% increased attack for every 1000 max HP Chevreuse has for 30 seconds. And the max you can increase of the attack is up to 40%. Her talent priorities are the following. Focus on her skill first, because it will be her main source of supporting your team with heals and with the passive, then her burst for extra damage, and for less, her normal attacks, that you can leave on level 1 because they are pretty much useless. Hands where I can see them. Now let's talk a bit about Chivalrous Constellations, because I'm assuming some of you got some of her constellations going after Raiden and Yoimiya for your accounts. On her C1, when the active character with the coordinated tactics status, excluding Chevreuse, triggers the overload reaction, they will recover 6 energy. This effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds. These constellations turn Chevreuse into a possible battery for your team, proving it to be a good constellation that will help your team overall. Her C2, after holding her skill and hitting a target, two chain explosions will be triggered near the location where the set target is. Each explosion deals spiral damage equal to 120% of Chevreuse's attack. This effect can be triggered up to once every 10 seconds. And the damage dealt this way is considered elemental skill damage. This is just a constellation that proves more damage to your rotations, but it also helps you with some overload reactions. Her C3 will increase the level of her skill by 3, with her C4, after using her burst, the hold mode of the skill will not go in cooldown when Chevreuse uses it. This effect is removed after the skill has been fired twice using hold or after 6 seconds. Her C5 will increase the level of her burst by 3 and for less on her C6, after 12 seconds of the healing effect from the skill, all nearby party members recover HP equivalent to 10% of Chevreuse max HP once. After a party member is healed by her skill, they gain a 20% pyro damage bonus and electro damage bonus for 8 seconds with a max of 3 stacks, and each stack's duration is counted independently. This constellation not only improves your healing overall, but it also turns Chevreuse into a massive buffer for Pyro and Electro element. Hands where I can see them. It's finally time to talk about the best artifact sets that you will want to use for your Chevreuse. Chevreuse doesn't have a best in slot set, because she can utilize a lot of them, so it will mostly depend on what you prefer. If you want to maximize her healing capabilities while providing small buffs, 4-piece tenacity will be your best pick. She will enjoy the HP% percent from the 2-piece, but will not be proccing the 4-piece passive that often because her skill has a 12 seconds cooldown. But if you want to focus on Chevreuse more on the buffing side, 4-piece noblesse will be your go-to. With the 2-piece you will improve her burst damage for 20%, and with the 4-piece it will give a consistent 20% attack bonus for 12 seconds after you use your burst. Unlike the 4-piece tenacity, this attack buff will last longer, but you will lose a little bit of your healing capabilities, and maybe with the HP target. Alternatively, if you don't want any of these options, you can always mix and match two pieces between the HP and the healing bonus sets. Hands where I can see them. After knowing the best sets for Chevreuse, let's now talk about the best stats that you will want to get. For the sense, ER or HP percentage. For the goblet, HP percentage. And for the circlet, HP percentage, healing bonus or crit rate if you are using Favonius. For substats, you should be looking for HP percentage, ER and crit rate if you are using Favonius. Just remember that your main goal is to achieve 40k HP to maximize the second ascension's passive, because if you manage to reach that threshold, you will provide 40% attack bonus for your whole team. For Chevreuse weapons, just like on the set, it doesn't have a best in slot and it will mostly depend on your stats. Favonius Lens is always going to be a solid pick for her because it will help her with ER requirements while also battering a little bit your team. Just remember that if you choose this weapon, try to at least have 50% crit rate. For the F2P players, the most recent craftable weapon from Fontaine, Rightful Reward, is an amazing pick for her. It will give her HP percentage with the substat and throughout its passive, it will restore energy for Chevreuse every time she gets healed. So, 
you just need to make sure she gets healed even if it's just 1 HP before swapping. This weapon is actually the best one if you manage to fulfill that passive. And for those who are still new to the game and can craft that pole arm, or for those who don't even want to craft, our old and trustworthy friend Slime Killer, most known as Black Tassel, will do the job. It provides a lot of HP percentage on its substat, and the best part is that you don't care about the passive, unless you are a massive slime murderer, so even R1 would do. For Chevros teams, he will work in every team that consists with only pyro and electro elements, because, come on, he's focused on it. So, you can let your imagination fly on this one. But for those with empty heads like me, here are some suggestions. Chevros, Raiden, Bennett and Kujo Sara for the new Raiden Hyper Carry team is a good option. Just remember that he will want Kujo Sara C6 for the extra crit damage she provides. I'm just suggesting this team. I don't actually know if it's better than the original version of the Raiden Hyper Carry team. Chevreuse, Bennett, Shangling and Fischl for the 4 star overloaded team, where you can switch Shangling for Beidou if you want more AoE coverage. Chevreuse, Yoimiya, Bennett and Fischl for those of the Yoimiya enjoyers, or those who pulled her and want to try a playstyle different from the others. Just like I said, she will fit in every team as long as it consists of Pyro and Electro members only. As long as you keep those requirements, she will work well as your team buffer. After this guide, I hope you have a more understanding on how to build and play with the responsible for taking the overall reaction out of the Gulag. If you liked the video and you like my content, don't forget to follow me and liking this video. Your support is amazing and I'm so happy to have you from that side. Please, let's turn that 99% non-subscribers into 0%, shall we? All my other socials are on the description, tell me what you think about Chef Rose in the comments. Have you tested her? Do you think she will be able to revive Overload by herself? My name is Phoenix, and see you all in my next video. See ya.